Russia and Iran are having huge problems with the US and the EU and now all of a sudden Switzerland seems to be joining the club against the big US Satan. April 2014 the top brass of Swiss Nazis in Tehran and a few weeks later one of Switzerland's seven presidents in Moscow shaking hands with Putin. I wonder what solutions the Swissies offered against the big US Satan and the EU. Burghalter is one of the Swiss seven heads of state of the beast with seven heads. A Bundesrat and now celebrated as a hero by their mainstream media. As one of the seven horsemen of the apocalypse of the seven wings of power. Therefore, the beast with the seven heads of the Alps chose to send a man who sees the world through numbers, exchange rates, banking assets, stock exchange rates and financial interests. Yes, an economist, economist, as a foreign minister to defend Switzerland's first and biggest value, money and their financial grip on the world. Indeed, a very powerful issue for a foreign minister reminding Putin of the fact that another additional 6.6 .6 billion of Russian money landed in the Swiss Alps due to the Ukraine crisis, together with the rest of the trillions of rubles in the Swiss vaults by the Russian oligarchs as Mr. Khodorkovsky and his pals. And if Russia wanted to ever see that money again, it better listen to the Swiss deal and back the fuck out from the Ukrainian border with that 40,000 head troopers and free that Swiss Red Cross hostage of that notorious Geneva spy organization of the Templars. Quite some arguments together with the fact that when the motherland of the Templars orders, the whole world wide web of Masons have to obey and execute the orders. And this is why Swiss Burghalter went to Moscow himself in person on May 7th, 2014 to make sure their man put in Mr. Freemason as the rest got the orders all right. Internal problems rising as Putin's initial disobedience because they see the US going versus the Brotherhood's orders concerning the Swiss banks. Why? because the Swiss bank sucked out the US government through tax evasion, thus attacking the US Mason authorities, leading to internal strife within Pharaoh's Brotherhood. Whereas, if the Swiss banks would steal from the American citizens, as the BIS, the Bank of International Settlements, did during Black Tuesday in 1929, then it wouldn't be any problem, and the US government would never interfere. But as they are robbing the Brotherhood across the Atlantic, this causes friction with the motherland in the Alps. Right, you can see the octagon, um, the octagons all over. Right. Well. There it is again, Mr. Burkhalter. Swiss Buchhalter, the economist of the centre-right radical party, doesn't really care about peace, as we all know. That that country in the Alps and their banks rather finance wars and dictators. Anyway, economic, economists are calculators and not hard-led beings. And what we witnessed was a direct order to Mr. Putin which he followed. Against the will of the uh, Russian minorities in the Ukraine, whom he betrayed. Because Burghalter and the Brotherhood of the Templars made it clear that if not, Octagon would deal with it. Just as they did with Kennedy, Lady Di, Allende, Mossadegh, 
Reverend King, Malcolm X and the rest. On the other hand, wars between countries are only against the people, humanity as a farmed race and for the horrors matrix. And the anagram, by the way, of which Burkhalter happens to be the president, has several anagrams like code or deco for decoration, sounding like decoy. And in Switzerland, they celebrate him as the new Swiss turbo book halter. Or well, can you believe it? This is what we should believe, don't we now? But it's all inside, inside, inside job, you know. And here, uh, Mr. Burkhardt halter. Well, that's today, uh, May tenth. He's freeing the Red Cross, this meaning Red Cross, Rot, like in Rothschild, it means red, and Kreuz, it means the cross. So the Swiss hero, he freed the uh, his own Red Cross, and there was one Swiss of this uh, notorious spy organization. Right. This is octagon ordering, Mr. Putin, it is. Otherwise, they, he would have ended up, they would have JFK'd him. This is what's happening. Wars are only for us, the people, so we die. It is not for them. They have their own means, you know, to settle disputes among each other. As we saw with JFK. And the fires are still not opened. Because we are just a cattle. I hear the Red Cross, the spire. So here's a proof that Putin even betrays his own people, you know. They, well, that's you know, his own sort of Russian minority. He doesn't give a damn about any Russian minorities, I tell you. This was an internal settlement. He got the orders as being a Freemason of the World Wide Web of Freemason from the motherland, Switzerland, of the Templars. This is how it works. And this is what happened. Why else do you think this very powerful country just listen to this? A small country in the Alps, where all the money is. So Putin, he got the order from this guy here, from the motherland of the Templars, and he's just a Freemason of the, the World Wide Web, and he, he had to obey. Otherwise they would have JFK'd him. You remember this one? Uh, he was sitting with Janukovic at this place here, in the Kremlin. There was a sun hieroglyph. Well, after my film, which you can still see in the, uh, the Yanukovych secret symbols and the pharaoh oligarchy on Guri, well, they took it off. It's not there anymore. They saw my film. Isn't that funny, eh? It's gone. It's not there anymore. Hmm. So, uh, well, they pulled the troops out. He got the uh, he got an order, and he obeyed. Simple as that. Hey, it says he's a uh, this guy here. He's a center right radical. I don't know what that means. Right wing radical, right wing. Well, they're all right wingers in this country. This one here was supposed to be a socialist, and she was in favor of the Swiss banking secret. Can you imagine? Stealing from the people and being in favor of it. They call it caviar socialists. That's what she is. I met her once in Bern. So that was on May 7th. You can see the Swiss flag a couple of times together with the Russian flag. Book halter put in. Well, this is just for the show. For us. No. no more sun Euroglyph. Bye bye. That's obey, eh? Sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. Hey, 
And here the website of the uh, Russian, the Kreml, the Kremlin, Gremlins. Wasn't that a horror movie, the Gremlins? <laughs> yes, Mr. Holder. The Swiss banks are too big to jail or too big to fail. They're standing above the law. And here's a charming picture of the actual Swiss finance minister. Too big to fail and too big to jail. Charming, isn't it? And there she is again. And last but not least, as I showed you before, just a few weeks before the Swiss Hero, the Swiss new new Swiss Turbo Burghalter uh, went and see Mr. Putin, the top brass of the Swiss Nazi Party. They went uh, to Iran over Easter in 2014, just a few weeks, or maybe only a week before, uh, two weeks before uh, Burghalter met. Uh, Mr. Putin. Well, Switzerland seems to have joined that club here, don't they now?